Hello guys, welcome back. So somebody actually asked me a great question and until I got up to get something adjusted and that was kind of like, I guess what he wanted, um, it kind of felt like since it was questioned about Thor, Thor's like, hmm, I think I'll block your inspiration. So, <laughs> so they asked about Thor. They're trying to work with Thor and he seems a little distant. Why is that? Um, think of what Thor enjoys in the stories. He enjoys going fishing. He enjoys farming. He's the god of farmers, of the common people. He enjoys traveling. Those are all things that take a very long time. They require a lot of patience. And most farmers I've known move pretty damn slow. Um, because they know there's, they're, they need to get the chores done, yeah, so don't move like a snail, but they're going to get there when they get there, okay? Because they're going to work from sun up to sundown, so they got to move at a certain pace. They can't run around like it's a marathon or, you know, halfway through doing the first chore, they're done. So Thor is kind of that steady moving forward energy. He can move fast as lightning, but that's pretty rare. Um, even if you work with him, have a good relationship, it can take him months to years to fulfill a request. Um, but he will. He will. Um, it's usually, it helps if it's, you know, it's a request that he's geared towards. If it's for, like, say, farming, obviously. If it's for putting food on the table, housing, clothing, basic things you need to survive. Health, um, fertility, stuff like that. Basic things you need to survive and thrive, he will give to you. If we go to Thor and like maybe ask for a car because we need it to drive to work or something. He will answer, but maybe not in the best way that we thought he would. Like, we're human. We all are. If we have an idea that we would just be gifted a car by someone, maybe not. Maybe we'll find good financing or we'll be able to trade something in and get a ride share or we'll be able to afford an Uber or, you know, do we really need that car? It's a lot like a Loki answer. It's like, well... How far is it to work? Do you really need a car? Could you use a bus instead? If you do need a car, can you get financing? It's a really practical answer. So it can be, you know, like if you're on a search for, say, a car. Let's use a car, for example, since he's, you know, known for having his car. And he, he loves this. Um, and you go to Thor and you say, I want a car. I need a car for work. I need a car to get groceries. It's practical. I need it. I'm not asking for anything fancy. Okay. You don't want a fancy car. You want something with wheels and an engine that's not going to catch on fire. And you say to Thor, I, I want to be led to the right car. He will lead you to the right car. Maybe you'll go to, like, look in the newspaper or look online and you'll see a car that's affordable. It's not, you know, a big fancy car that you secretly had in mind. But it's affordable, you look at the history, it's, you know, hasn't been in any crashes, and you can afford it, but you're going to have to crimp somewhere else, right? Like, maybe you can't go out for whatever anymore, but you can afford this car. Thor actually answered you. It's, sometimes his answers are like they're no answer at all. You pray to be led to the right car, and you found the car you were happy with, and you you went. And you got it. No, you can't ask for a sign just to make sure that's your proper answer. That's sometimes prudent, you know. Or if you feel he's still not answering, um, do a thing that it's not even my idea. Um, someone had started tea with the gods and then it became coffee with the loa, I think. And now I've transferred it back again to tea or coffee or whatever, Rianiti on ice with the gods. Set out one for them, one for you if you can afford to. If you can't, just set out one. And offer it to them first and just talk. They hear you. They hear you when you talk to them. And just tell them what it is you want and what kind of relationship you want. Um, you can have a business style relationship, but you have to be honest about the kind of relationship you want. If you don't want a personal relationship, they they won't mind, but you have to be honest about it up front. Don't be all hearts and flowers when they first come in, when you really only want them to do this thing and then you don't want anything else to do with them. Be honest. Say, okay, I've got to admit, I really don't want a long-term relationship, but I do need help. I grew up Catholic and people, you know, will do the same thing with saints. They'll be all hearts and flowers and you'll be my saint forever if you give me this thing. Saint comes through. Two weeks later, they want something. Saint doesn't give it to them, so they're off to the next one, and the next one, and the next one, and the next one. And it's kind of why some people say a lot of the saints weren't answered. A lot of people, because they're like, 
yeah, we know how you are. You'll buy us a statue, and you'll love us, and you'll adore us to the moon and back, and you're so passionate about us. Then we say, no, that's a thing, and you're on to the next one. So, you know, sometimes it can be a little canny, saints, gods, anyone, and sometimes Thor can be a little slow to answer because, you know, one, lightning fast is not his usual speed, and two, you know, um, sometimes he's just thinking about things. We call him Deep Thinker for a reason, so he's real, Loki, Loki's helping. So he's really thinking about stuff, and he's really considering stuff. He may already be answering you. He may have answered you, and it may not always be super obvious. It might be a song on the radio. It's, <laughs> Loki's like, especially if it's Thunderstruck. Yeah, that does seem to be a typical thing. It may be seeing something on TV or in the newspaper or when you're at work or something else, but he usually will answer people to let them know that he's heard them. Um, it's just sometimes it can feel like when we pray to a god or to an angel or a saint or something, it's like there's absolutely nothing there. We have the statue, we have the candle, we have the incense going on, and we're doing all this stuff, and it's like we're praying, and it feels like we're praying into a vacuum. I can't explain that other than it's like, some people say God phone. I don't like it. I think of it like having an old-fashioned radio and you've got the headset on and you're trying to tune this in and you're trying to tune into their specific frequency and you're just, you're not getting it. Yes, baby. I got, what's the frequency, Kenneth? <laughs> Back here. And sometimes we have a hard time finding their frequency. Everybody else is finding it and like, oh, that was like a great show last night. And we're like, where, where? And we're trying to tune and, you know, the knob's coming off in our hand. We're looking at it like, well, no, what do I do? But, you know, they generally do hear you. It's just some can be very slow to respond. Some just seem to respond slower than others. Some may, like, answer you, like, 20 years later. <laughs> I'm sure there are those ready to show up for stuff I wanted 20 years ago when I was in my 20s. Like, here you go. Why am I getting all this stuff now? You asked for it. That was 20 years ago. Yeah, but here it is. <laughs> Loki's laughing because there's a big difference between usually what you want in your 20s and your 40s. Watch me get a bunch of dumb random stuff some young young person running around could use and I'll be like, what, what do I want with this? So I hope that helps. But yeah, guys, Thor is great to work with. He can just be super long to respond. But he heard you. I, I assure you, he heard you. They all hear us. When we talk about them, and some people will even say when you think about them, they're thinking about you. So they hear you. They really do. It's just they can take time to respond. And sometimes with Thor, it feels almost like a test. Like, how patient are you? Could you make a good farmer? Could you make a good fisherman? Could you make a good traveler? you got to be, you know, patient and all those things. And a little bit of luck involved, too. But you got to be patient and take your time and wait for the harvest to come in or wait for the fish to bite or whatever. So, if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.